If you are struggling to choose a right lip liner for yourself, this video is for you. Today we're going to try five different shades of MAC lip liners and you will see exactly how they look on my lips. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Anna and this channel is a cozy space where we talk about travel, shopping, beauty, style and so much more. And before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to say and remind you that you are wonderful and you are enough just the way you are without any makeup. And I'm so proud of you for doing all of the little steps that you do every day to make your life better. So today I'm going to review for you MAC lip liners because that is my absolutely favorite brand of lip liners. Before I apply them to my lips, I really wanted to remind you that you really shouldn't try any lip products in store, not lip liners, not lipsticks, not lip glosses, because even if you sharpen the pencil, even if you uh, like clean the lipstick with a napkin, you are not going to kill all the bacteria that are inside of the product. So you really, really shouldn't use those products that they have in store in store in Sephora or in MAC. The only way for you to choose a right lip liner for yourself is to look at uh, swatches of those lip liners online, look at the pictures and watch videos like this one. Hopefully it's going to be really useful for all of you. Uh, don't forget to push the like button if you enjoy watching this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also, I need to mention that lip liner is something that I use in my makeup routine every single day. I don't have a very definite, like even lip line. Mine is quite blurred. That's why a lip liner is something that really makes me feel put together. And I love having different shades of uh, liners. Generally, I use really like natural shades that uh, that are really close to my uh, lip color. I tend to choose something that is a little bit darker than my natural lip color so this way I can uh, overline my lips slightly. I already created a video on my channel about how I overline my lips to look bigger than they naturally are. I don't have any lip filler so if you are somebody who wants to make your lips look a little bit bigger I will leave a link to that video in the description down below. And also I wanted to say that if you are somebody who likes to overline your lips, you really need a liner which is going to be highly pigmented so you don't have to like go over the same line lots of times making it look unnatural. You need to be able to smoothly glide it and already have the line there. And that is exactly the reason why I love these liners. They are super super pigmented. Once you glide it, you have the line. You don't need to go over like four times. The price of a mug lip liner here in uh, Europe is about 28 euro but very often they go on sale. Uh, really popular shades like Boldly Bear are not common to go on sale but others you are able to find during like Christmas sales and others. Uh, another thing that I wanted to say about them is that they blend with different lipsticks so so well. I have lipsticks from all brands from drugstore and from premium and luxury brands and they blend really really nicely with different kinds of lipsticks. So today I'm going to apply just lip liners. I'm not going to use any lipsticks. You will see how they look. We're going to start with Boldly Bare because that is the shade that I'm wearing right now. Boldly Bare was uh, the first lip liner that I've ever purchased from MAC. This was the reason why I fell in love with these lip liners and that is the one that I come back to really all the time. Uh, Boldly Bare is I think maybe the lightest shade of the lip liners that I have. It is a light um, nude shade with a peachy undertone. It is very similar to my lips and I really like it because I'm able to um, blend it both with warm toned lipsticks and also with cool, cool toned lipsticks, which may sound strange to you, but I promise you, once you try to blend it with a cool toned pink lipstick, it will look really, really nice and natural. I will show you the close up of my lips with this lip liner. Generally, I think it is the best option for everyday life for like a natural lip. The next shade of a MAC lip liner that I've just applied is a shade Whirl. Uh, I call this shade a darker nude. This is a darker shade that I tend to use during winter time and autumn time when it's like spring and summer. I usually don't go that dark. It blends really nice with different nude lipsticks. For example, with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I think this one 
blends really 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 well. The next lip liner that I've applied is a shade Sore by MAC and this one is quite dark and it is definitely cool toned. This is like a dusty rose color cool toned dark lip liner. I think it appears a little bit lighter on camera and on photos than in real life. I generally don't use this one alone without any lipstick, but if you mix it, if you blend it with a lighter shade of uh, a lipstick, it looks really, really nice, especially if you are somebody with cool toned skin. This is going to look really, really beautiful on you. And the pigment is incredible. You really need just one glide of the pencil and you have that straight, beautiful line. And you can overline your lips with this liner and make them look so much bigger. The next shade is a shade Dervish and this one I think is the lightest lip liner that I have. I think this shade is too light to really overline your lips, but it really depends on your natural lip color. For me it is too light, so I can't do really lots of overlining with this one. Uh, I tend to stick to my natural line, but it depends. It is a nice lip liner, but for some reason I feel like it is not as pigmented as my other MAC lip liners. Like sometimes I have to go on like through the same uh, side of my lip a few times to get that line really visible. It's not because this lip liner is older than the others. Actually, this one I think I bought the last of all of the lip liners from MAC that I have. I bought this one last spring and well, it's not old. It's just not as pigmented for some reason. Let's move on to the last one and the last one is going to be Classic Red. And the last shade of a lip liner from MAC that I wanted to show you today is this Classic Red shade. It is called Ruby be wool. It is cool toned and it is so flattering on so so many people. I've seen lots of girls with different uh, skin tones wear this lipstick and all of them look gorgeous. I love this one. It is super pigmented. You can overline your lips. You can really play with your lip liner the way you want and I think it is a really nice classy touch to your makeup for an evening out or for just a regular day when you feel like wearing a red lip. I really hope that this video was useful for you. Don't forget to push the like button if you liked it and comment down below if you have your favorite lip liner brands. I'm really curious to find out about those and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I will see you very soon. Bye!